what I'm going to talk about here are the control grips. The control grips consist of three parts. The actual control grip itself for zoom and camera control, the backpack, which is the brains of the whole system, and the E-Drive, which gives you focus control at your hand grip. What I'm going to talk about first is actually the backpack. Since this does all of the actual control, um, you only have one cable coming back from the, the control grip and one from the E-Drive plugging into the backpack. So you don't have a lot of cables down by your hands getting in the way. Uh, from the backpack, you can go to the camera, the radical, up to three zoom motors or the servo zoom lens. That gives you all of the control you need at your hand grips. Coming out of the backpack, we take one cable for power to the Z motors, and then you're able to daisy chain it so you don't have a lot of cables coming from the backpack again. Um, over here, we've got a cable for lens control, camera control. We've got one SDI in and two out. The battery plate, we've got a V-mount battery plate, which has its own D-taps. We didn't put the D-taps in the backpack because the battery plate has them. Uh, it also has a built-in, let me show you here, built-in V-mount here. The built-in V-mount can go onto the back of a camera, like an Epic or, or a camera that has the built-in uh, V-mount connection. And then you can put your battery on the back for a power pass-through. On the other side here, we've got an antenna, which sends the signal to the zoom motors to control, and then two USB ports, one for radical control and one for powering a small accessory. Now, to talk a little bit about the grip itself, you've got one button here for radical, uh, digging into the radical menus, one button here for digging into the camera menus, and then a start stop and a programmable function button. You can also program each direction of each joystick so that when you're not in the menu, it becomes a function button. You've got the zoom rocker here for zoom control, and then another rocker here if you want to use it for iris control. It's an Aton style uh, hand grip, uh, so it's very comfortable wood, forms to your hand. We've got it on our trigger grip, which you can quickly flip up to get it out of the way. You can put, then put it in the case, on the ground, whatever you need to do. It's got length adjustment here, so you can get that in the perfect, most comfortable position for your hand. On this side, I'm going to talk about the E-Drive. Now, the E-Drive is for focus control. It's got this comfortable wooden hand grip as well, so it's a hand grip and focus control in one. This means that you don't have to take your hand away from the hand grip to pull focus and risk jiggling the shot. You can see here we've got four different buttons. We've got an A and a B. That's where you can set your stops. Um, one of the cool things about these is that if you've got just a, a minuscule kind of distance that you want to rack the focus, you can set the A and B and then use the whole range of the E drive to feather that in into focus. Uh, it's also got an auto calibration, so it can find the start stop of your natural start stop of your lens uh, by itself and a reverse. So if you're shooting like with a Nikon lens, it will reverse the motor.